one day they announce their $254 million of something that apparently is not cuts. They absolutely are cuts. Starting tomorrow morning, hundreds of ABC workers are going to get called into the meetings where they get told whether they've got a future, what happens to them, what happens to the work that they do. They're real cuts. Real people, real cuts. And as those wonderful, talented, hard-working people, if they're made redundant, then when they go, the work they do goes with them. The knowledge, the skills, the creativity that we all rely on. I'm Michael Tullum, the National President of the Community and Public Sector Union, and my union with another union, the Media, Entertainment and Arts Alliance, and lots of helpers and Get Up, and the Friends of the ABC and lots of community support, we're in the middle of running a series of big community rallies to hold the government to account for their broken promise around ABC cuts. A really easy way to get involved on Facebook or on Twitter um, is just go to our ABC hashtag on Twitter or hands off the ABC on Facebook. 30,000 people involved so far. Let's add, let's add to those numbers. The Abbott government has a very simple philosophy. If it moves, lock it up. If it doesn't, sell it off. <laughs> and that's their plan for ABC and SBS from some in government and from uh, some of their big business supporters is that somehow, somehow the ABC and indeed the SBS are going beyond their mandate by spending too much time in the digital world. Well, what I want to say to Tony Abbott is that there's this thing called the internet. <laughs> I've been listening to the ABC for about 70 years and I hopefully will keep watching it for quite a few more years. What happens to Australia without an ABC? Like, what happens if we don't have a broadcaster who are separate from corporate interests, who have the responsibility of holding the government to account? You're diverting our dateline, our late line, our landline from their zen. If only Media Watch were compulsory viewing. <laughs> if only Father Brown could be filled with rage. <laughs> could cook up a storm against the cuts, then filthy cities would become gardening Australia. The 7.30 report and Q&A would not stress about political pressure, and Doctor Who and Julia Zamiro would reign supreme. <laughs> How do we maintain a true democracy? How do we ensure that the wealth of our diversity is shared and loved? How do we make a space for true national debate? How do we do this without a not-for-profit public broadcaster, without a fair, funded and fabulous SBS and ABC? Yeah, yeah, yeah.